Hi, it's Nicole, and today I'm going to be doing the BookTube Top 10s tag. So what I want to do is really just quickly run through my top 10s, um, and I've, I've put them in order, but I just want to say officially, like for me, they actually are in no order because I really don't have any ranking. It just, it's how I feel at the time. Like, yeah, I would be happy for these to be thrown up in the air and order changed and whatever else, like if I'm being super truthful to myself. But in this moment, I've put them in this order and that's what we're going to go with for this video. I'll leave all the information down below about this tag. I think it's kind of cool and I think it would be really good to have more people do it. I don't know if there's like a deadline for getting the uh, tags in, but they are also, all the information from those tags that are done are going to be compiled, um, or they have been being compiled, and I'll leave all the information below. Another thing that I thought was kind of interesting was um, when I looked at the uh, compilation of previous tags, it seems like there are a lot of classics uh, in everybody's top tens, and when I looked at mine, I have zero classics in my top tens. In fact, tell a lie, there is a classic there are two classics in my <laughs> top tens now that I think about it. But I used to say that Brave New World was my favorite book and it still is one of my favorites, but I've taken it out of my top tens just because today I've just ranked them differently and Brave New World was like number 11 or 12 in all of my favorites. Yeah, so I guess we'll just get straight into it and I'll start with number 10 and go up to number one. So for number 10, I have Sabriel by Garth Nix. Number nine is 23 Things They Don't Tell You About Capitalism by Ha Jun Chang. Number eight is A Small Place by Jamaica Kincaid. Seven is Of Mice and Men by John Steinbeck. And this is obviously one of the two classics that stayed in my top tens. Number six is The Gollum and the Genie by Helen Wecker. Number five is In the Time of the Butterflies by Julia Alvarez. Number four is Grief is the Thing with Feathers by Max Porter. Number three is Out by Natsuo Carino. Number two is Le Petit Prince by Antoine Saint-Exupéry. And number one, for the moment, is My Year of Meats by Ruth Ozeki. Le Petit Prince is the second uh, classic that featured in my favorites. Um, but yeah, there were only those two. Uh, I found that really interesting because it seems like a lot of people have loads of classics throughout their favorites. I think it's maybe worth mentioning that not all of my favorites are five star reads. Sometimes for favorites I might still give it like a four stars because I acknowledge that there are some issues that I've had with it or whatever, but that can still be a favorite and that's the case with some of these. Some of the four star reads are higher in my ranking than some five star reads, uh, but too bad, that's just how it works for me. I also found it a little surprising how um, non-diverse a lot of the top tens seemed to work out to be, but on the other hand I think it just makes a lot of sense that when the literary canon is flooded with one type of author, for example, generally speaking, and when uh, you have some like classics are all very very popular so a lot more people are going to know classics and enjoy them than for more contemporary reads or just smaller publications. So on the one hand I was a little surprised that the top tens overall for booktube were not that diverse and very heavy on classics and on the other hand I thought about it and I was like actually no that makes a lot of sense I can see why that's the case but it also still just surprised me I guess. Anyway this was really fun I'm glad I was able to participate and I hope that this was helpful even though like in my heart of hearts I still I'm not chained to this order of favoriting but for now that works for me so hopefully that works for this tag and for the data that will come out of that uh, later. Anyway that's all for now and I'll see you again next time. Bye!